everyone, welcome to Jinghua Education. I'm Steven. In this video, we're going to talk about Math 12 Trigonometry Part 24, which is trigonometry double angle identities. Okay, so part 21, 22, 23, 24 are in one unit. Please make sure you watch all of them at once. Okay, so double angle formulas. So we have some angle formula before, right? And then double angle formula actually just a small specialty specializations of some angle formula. Let's think about this. Sine 2a. We have learned sine a plus b equal to sine a cosine b plus cosine a sine b. All right? Good. So we are looking for sine 2a here. Can we imagine sine a plus another a here? So if we changing the b into a, what happened? We're going to replace all the b to a. So we're going to have a here, a here. So we have sine a, cosine a, cosine a, sine a. They are same. So sine a cosine a plus cosine a sine a just equal to 2 sine a cosine a. That is our double angle formula. Is it enough? OK. So the cosine one is a little bit tricky here. Let's remove this one. OK. Um, here. Cosine a plus b. equal to cosine a cosine b plus or minus sine a sine b. Okay, now it's a cosine 2a just equal to cosine a plus a. We change all the b to a and we're done. So all the a, a b to a here will be this. So we have a cosine a square minus sine a square and then we finished however so if we don't want cosine and sine both in here we have another identities in the hexagon which is sine square a plus cosine square a equal to one right so we can replace sine a with cosine a and the cosine with sine a so let's try to replace the sine a here so the cosine a still here minus sine a equal to 1 minus cosine square a. Okay, if we open the bracket, equal to 2 cosine square a minus 1, which is this angle, this formula. Okay, now if we're going to leave sine a here, and then we remove the cosine a. So the cosine a equal to 1 minus sine a. Okay, if we open this bracket, 1 minus 2 sine a square, which is this one. So that means the cosine 2a going to equal to three formulas. So which one to use? Depends. Depends on the questions, which one is good for use. Okay, I will show you the examples to show you which one is better use. Okay, let's see the question here. Cosine 2x minus 1 plus 2 sine x. Okay, now cosine 2x. Cosine 2x equal to cosine x squared minus sine x squared. It's also equal to cosine x squared, 2 cosine x squared minus 1. Or equal to 1 minus 2 sine x squared. Which one to use? Okay, I want to use this one. Why? Because I know I'm going to minus 1 later. So we got 1 here for later to use to minus. Okay? If we got here, we got negative 1 using these formulas. Okay? It's okay. It's still the same thing. However, we're going to have negative 2 at the end, and which is not looks nice. Okay, now let's use this one. So cosine 2a equal to uh, cosine 2x equal to 2. 1 minus 2 sine square x minus 1 plus 2 
sine x, and then one one are cancelled, so it's become two sine x minus two sine square x. Can we factor out? We can factor the two sine x out. And then this is only one left. This is will be sine x left. And done. See, 2 sine x, 2 sine x, 1 minus sine x, 1 minus sine x. Finished. Make sense? OK, the next one is pretty simple as well. Sine x plus cosine x squared. So what a plus b squared equal to? a plus b squared equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. All right, so a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So the same thing here. So this is a, so b sine x squared. This b will be cosine x squared. And the 2ab in the middle will be 2 sine x cosine x plus. What this equal to? That is sine 2a, right? 2 sine a cosine a equal to sine 2a. So this part just sine 2x. And then another part. So the cosine square plus cosine square equal to what? It's equal to 1, right? We have this identity here. So just equal to 1 plus sine 2x. And we're done. Now, let's deal with the hard questions here. Okay, the third question is really hard. Okay, so uh, I clean the screen for you to see more clear. So these kind of questions is most hard questions in the proving identity part because it's already being converted into sine and cosine. It's really nothing you can capture. It's no uh, special treatment for that. So let's see how it can be. OK, open that. Since we don't have too much choice here, we just open these things. Sine x minus y, sine x plus y. So the sine x cosine y minus cosine x sine y. So this is the black part. This is the black part here. OK, let's change the color of pen here. And then we're looking for sine x plus y here. So on the green part, it's a sine x cosine y plus cosine x sine y. We multiply these two, all right? So, Let's change another color here. So this is our A. This is our B. So sine x cosine y, sine x cosine y will be A here. Cosine x sine y, cosine x sine y, B here. So we're going to have A minus B and then A plus B, which is A squared minus B squared. Okay? So it's going to equal to sine x squared cosine y squared and then minus cosine y uh, cosine x cosine x squared and then sine y squared. Okay, so how many things we have here? We have four things. These four are each one is different. How do we do it? It cannot simplify at all. So what do we do? We convert it. We convert this two. So we're making them in the red color here. So this part we want to convert it into one minus sine square x. Why? Because I have sine square x here. And these things, I can make them into 1 minus a cosine square y, because I have cosine square y here. 
So we convert these four different things into two different things. So we got sine x squared cosine squared y as well. We minus these things. Now let's expand this part. So sine square x cosine square y minus the big bracket here. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times negative cosine square. And then this is minus sine square x. And then plus the sine square cosine square y. Let's open the bracket here. So the sine square x cosine square y minus 1 plus cosine square y plus sine square x and then minus the sine square cosine square y. Okay, now this part and this part are exactly the same. We can cancel it. What left is negative 1 cosine square y plus sine square x. And then what to do? We compare to this. We have a cosine square y here, so we don't change it. Sine square x. We don't have sine square x. We have a cosine square x. So it's a cosine square y minus 1 minus sine square x. So I factor the negative sign here. This has become positive 1. My factor negative sign here is become negative sine x. So this part is what? This part is a cosine x square. So I have a cosine y square minus cosine x square. And we're done. OK, so I know this is very hard questions. And then let's talk about how do we actually do these questions here. When you see, when you're having like a complex question like this, don't panic. Try to open that up. Okay? Open it up once you're trying to find the similar terms. And then you can use um, whatever you have learned from the algebra to simplify it. Once simplified, you're trying to reduce the number of unknowns. Or you're trying to reduce number of different species. We have a four different species, but after we convert it, we convert into two different species. And then we simplify again. Now we try to match it. At the end, we try to match to the right hand side. We don't know which one to eliminate. So we leave the one is already exist in the right hand side. And then the rest of them we convert and done. Okay? Okay, so I know this is hard questions. If you think you have more hard questions than that, please comment below. I will answer your questions in my next video. I uh, hope you enjoy the videos. Please subscribe if you uh, like. So thank you for watching.